As Kaduna State grapples with the aftermath of the nationwide peaceful protest, violence has erupted, leaving a trail of destruction and tension in its wake. Businesses and traders are counting great losses, seeing their daily source of livelihood slip away due to the unrest. Our correspondent Habila Dorofei monitored the situation and reports that on the second day of the nationwide protest, the city presents an unusual calm. The bustling streets of the markets are now empty and silent, bearing the scars of this upheaval. The air is filled with the occasional wail of sirens and security operatives are patrolling the metropolis to deter further violence and ensure the safety of lives and properties in the state. Traders at the Sheikh Mahmoud Gumi Central Market were seen idle, standing vigil in front of their shops. Their eyes constantly scanned the surroundings, vigilant against potential attempts by hoodlums. The fears of looting loom prompting many traders to pack their goods for safety at any hint of unrest. The traders at the market recount their losses since the unfortunate incident of the protest began paralyzing businesses with hope. Kaduna residents are shared in their mixed experiences on the ongoing nationwide protest against bad governance, expressing their worries and hopes for the return of full normalcy and a violent, free society. While we are coming out to protest, we come with, with, uh, with the uniforms. Why? There is something in some people's hearts. They will not come to protest. They come steal our property. That is why we know I come to market, me and other uh, traders, to, to, to protect our properties. Because I can't stay at a uh, house. The situation, I don't know what is happening. That is why I come to do this is my shop. They appeal to the youth to follow the right channels to express their grievances rather than taking the law into their own hands, causing unrest and violence in the society. Also appealed to the government to address the demands of Nigerians for a prosperous country. They just hate me because they are no car. I appeal to the youth is that we should just take everything softly and pray to God for everything to be better. Because if you say you take loss into your hands, it will not end up good with us. We will be the ones suffering with the masses. situation is not that good anyway. Because looking at the environment, people are scanty, all the shops are locked. Nothing is going on, no activity is going on. It has really affected the economy because nothing is no, no activity is going on. I don't Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.